Jimba from Zimbabwe. Wow. What a comeback from Fulham Jimba. Looked good for second, but she wasn't taking second. She won a top spot, and that's what she's got. Hi, everybody. My name is Nomblan Jimba. I'm a Zimbabwean swimmer who specializes in the 50 free, the 100 free, the 50 fly, the 100 fly, and sometimes the 50 breast and the 200 meter freestyle. I don't do them often, but I do swim them quite, you know, sometimes. Um, so I currently swim at Seal Swimming Club, which is in South Africa, and today I'm going to be having a short question and answer session so you can learn a little bit about me. So I started swimming at around the age of 8 and I've been swimming ever since, I'm 18 years old now. Um, my old swimming coach, um, who was my first coach ever, was when he first saw me at my school, with my old primary school, he was like, no, I think this coach should sign up for swimming at a club. And I did so. And also because my my mom saw that I love to be in the water, you know, bathing and all that. I just loved it. So she was like, let's put you into swimming. And I've been there ever since. I I, I can't pick one. I think there's so many people that I, I look up to. Um, but if I'm going to be specific and narrow it down just to swimming, I think my swimming role models have to be Sarah Strosum and Michael Phelps. I think they're so hardworking. I think they're so dedicated. And the way in which they in interact with their fans is something so beautiful. And with their dedication and their love for the sport, no wonder that they're such amazing swimmers. So I really look up to them. Um, so I'm going to take my four races. My personal best in the 50 freestyle is a 27.88, which I swam in Ireland. It was my first ever 27, so I was like, oh wow, 27. Um, and 100 freestyle was um, is a 101.69, which I swam in Morocco last year at the All African Games. The 50 fly, again, my personal best came when I swam in Morocco at the All African Games, and I swam at 29.91. And 100 meter butterfly, I swam my best time last year at SA Seniors, which is a 107.72, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I honestly can't pick one moment that I say, this is, this is it. I think I've had so many amazing moments as I started swimming. So I'm just going to go in like chronological order and tell you my best when I started swimming. I think my favorite ones have to be when I um, went to swim for Zimbabwe for the first time for at level 3, it's called SA Junior, SA Junior Nationals now but back then it was called level 3. It was my first time I was wearing the Zim kit and it was so special. Another one again was when I traveled to Egypt for the All Junior African Championships. That was lovely and then I think another one has to be when I went to Morocco for the All African Games. That was an experience that I will never forget. I think another thing was also to be an aggregate winner. I've been an aggregate winner from when I was eight in Zim. Obviously not now because I'm not swimming, I'm not competing in Zim as much, so I can't swim be an aggregate winner if I'm not swimming. So I think that's another one that's been really nice. So yeah, those are my achievements. I, I think there's so many people that have helped me to get to where I am. I think, um, you can't even just pick one, but I think one person that has been there through it all has to be my mom. She has supported me through thick and thin. She has been there. She has helped. She has coached. She has paid. I mean, I can't thank her enough. I think also my coaches, they've been there. So I've had so many of them. I've had coaches, you know, Mr. Marcy, Malcolm Cox, Wayne Ridden. Um, and Flo, they have been so helpful, they've been so kind and so caring, so I honestly thank them. I think also the surgeries that I've been through and the doctors, so naming just some, you know, Margie Gibson, um, Nikki Irvine, they have been so helpful, you know, just getting me to be the best I can, not only physically, but mentally and the best person I can be. My school that I am in right now, I honestly thank them for taking me to training, you know, if I need a doctor, they will be like, okay, I'm going to book in the doctor tomorrow. So they are, you know, they've always been there. It's, there's just been so many people, friends and families, I can't thank them enough. It's everybody who I've had contact with, who have helped me, who have given me those words 
they are the reason why I am to, like the swimmer I am today and the person that I am today. So I thank them so much. Um, I think the first one has to be everything happens for a reason because I do believe everything happens for a reason. Even though, you know, what happens is not what you want. I think, you know, whether it be fate, whether it be God, whether it be the sky or the stars, whatever, everything is planned out for that specific time you have to be there, that specific thing you have to do at that specific date. I, I honestly do believe everything happens for a reason. So if I don't get a time tomorrow, I know I'll get there, it just won't be on the day that I wanted to get it. I also think uh, another principle is if um, hard work does pay off, because hard work does pay off. So you can have the gifts and the talents, but if you don't do anything with it, if you don't work hard, you won't go anywhere. So definitely everything happens for a reason and hard work does pay off. So those are my principles. The darkest day in my career wasn't just a day. It was a period, so I, I, it gets so emotional every time I speak about it. Um, but I remember I went, I had this horrible injury that I still haven't gotten rid of, and it was it was honestly both of my both of my shoulders. So I was I stopped swimming so I can try get off this injury, and then I realized the doctors say you can't. It's something that you can't. You have to strengthen your muscles, but we can't you know control the injury we can't heal the injury and I'll never forget when I came back to swimming after this time because I went off for a while I came back and I wasn't swimming at the level I was I wasn't loving swimming as much as I was and I remember it was in grade 11 where someone said something so horrible to me that it it honestly broke me down and I remember saying to my mom okay I'm done this is it I'm not doing this sport so I honestly stopped swimming for a while and I was I just couldn't take it anymore and I honestly at that point I was at like the the lowest of the lows for myself it was it was horrible horrible I think the first one has to be the day when I swam at 27 88 because I'd been swimming at 28 for years I've been swimming it for so long so when I finally broke it I was like oh, finally so that day it was in Morocco so no no it was an island oh that was amazing, that was quite nice. Um, I think the other one was um, this year as well, it was quite a nice race when we swam a relay with um, in the Zimbabwean team and I had three other girls and we swam the 100 meter freestyle relay and we killed it. I mean, we were so energized, we were like supporting each other and I remember when we touched the wall, our last swimmer touched the wall and we saw that we, you know, broken the record at the Connor Zone Games and we were like, oh wow! So, I think that was one of my favorite races, not only the way that we swam, but the crowd was just loving it. It was such a great race, so I love that day. So my pre-race routine is quite something. Um, so I honestly wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is I shower. So I like have a nice shower, but while I'm showering, I'm playing music. I need music to get myself into this vibe that I'm about to race, so I have like two like different zones of music i'm either playing like like beachy music that's like beating i'm like toof 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 you know what i mean like all that or like, on the other hand i'm listening to like soft and mellow music to like calm me down so after i've had a shower and i've listened to my music and i'm still listening to my music i have breakfast and breakfast is the most important meal of the day and it's my favorite meal of the day so I have breakfast and I make sure that I have some water, I have some multivitamins and I'm just getting myself, my, myself into the zone to swim and I'm just, you know, feeling that vibe, you know, getting that, that mood. So after that, I grab my bag and it's off to the pool. When I'm at the pool, I, you know, chat to my friends, listen to some music, stretch, you know, get those arms, you know, loose, get those legs loose. Do some warm-up. After warm-up, I put on my racing suit and it's now like the mood like I'm now into it okay and um, I usually do this sometimes just before I race I go to like the mirror in the bathroom and I go like you got this you got this you got this and I like motivate myself and psych myself up to go race um, so yeah that's my pre-race routine um, I think all my coaches so I've named them before so just to be there like Mr. Marcy and Flo um, Malcolm Cox, Wayne Ridden uh, thank you so much. I also like to thank 
um, you know, Nikki Irvine, Margie Gibson, oh, they are, they are, they are the ones that I also like to thank, like, like, I'd like to mention my school, I mean, they've done the most for me, they've, they've helped me quite a lot, and I thank them so much, and the teammates, I, I, I don't have specific teammates, I think whenever I travel with Team Zimbabwe, we all and family, so I want to thank all the swimmers that I've travelled with, you've honestly been so nice to, like, travel with, we make such memories, um, even when we travel to, you know, other competitions, and we're not just swimming, we're hockey, tennis, netball, you name it, even them, they come and support, that's that I, I, I love it so much so it's quite nice I like to you know mention all of them okay so this is where I get my swimmer I get my swimmer at the swim shop in Harare at, at Crown Plaza yeah yeah that one Crown Plaza so I get it there because their quality of swimwear is tip-top shape they're not only just like their costumes I mean the kicks board their pool boy everything get at the swim shop the quality is amazing it comes in before the swimming season so I always you know I'm able to get it and they also they also open their shop all year long so even in winter when most people are not swimming I can you know still get my stuff from there and the lady who you know who owns the swim shop makes sure that you have like the newest costume so I love wearing like the brand new costume that I see my celebrities wearing and I'm like oh my god Michael Phelps had that one I wanted too so she makes sure that we have the brand new ones coming, you know, in Zim as soon as possible. So get your stuff there. I think I I think most people's ultimate goal would be making the Olympics. I think for me, if I, I want to see how far I can go, so if my if I can make it to worlds. That is the furthest I can go. If I can just make it to university as a swimmer, that's it. If I make it to the Olympics, that's it. But I just want to see how far I can go. I don't want to base my dreams on someone else's dream. I want to see how far I can go. Um, but yeah, I just want to see, yeah, how far I can go. Yeah, basically. Um, I think there is a few. I think we, we've made improvement in sports, but I still think we have a long way to go in Zimbabwe. I think my first one would have to be resources and facilities. I think we need to try get um, the best facilities for our athletes. I mean, if you want athletes to be at Olympic standard, they must train in Olympic facilities, you know, like proper swimming pools, proper, you know what I mean? Like Olympic size, Olympic atmosphere, you know, best facilities, best resources that we can possibly get our athletes. Um, I think another one would be developing our athletes at a young age, but properly. I think we should focus on getting our athletes, not just to look at nationals that is tomorrow, but, you know, the long road, whether it be Olympics, whether it be just university swimming. We must not just plan for today, but plan for the future. So we must have our athletes have the right skills, the right um, technique, the right equipment. We've got to develop them in the right way at a young age so that these athletes don't just stop in high school but they continue over into university um, and I think my last one would have to be that we, we take care of our athletes not only in a physical manner but in a mental manner what people don't understand is that when you're in sport not only does your body go through so much pain but your mind as well so we must make sure that our athletes mental health is at the same state as their physical health and their physical you know readiness to compete so we must make sure the, the athletes whether it be going to a psychologist or a counselor they must have people to talk to to make sure that their mental state is in the right um at the right and is in the right place for them to compete you know the brain and the mind go together so that's what i'd like to see First of all, to the fans who've messaged me and sent me a message, thank you so much. Your your words mean so much. They honestly put a smile across my face. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think to Uprising Stars, I personally would say that if you have a dream, if you have a goal, if you have something you want to achieve, you name it, you gotta go fight for it yourself. If you fight for it yourself, your family and your friends will support you. But if you don't, no one will support you. 
if you have that dream if you have that goal if you have that idea that you want to achieve you gotta go head on because you never know where it will take you so definitely you know fight for your dreams go for your dreams and make yourself proud so yeah that is all so thank you so much for having me answer these questions i've had a blast and yeah thank you so much bye guys good she's got a zimbabwe on her outside raviona looks to take it did she get there no it wasn't jimba from zimbabwe wow what a comeback Mvulam jimba looked good for second but she wasn't taking second she won a top spot and that's what she's got